Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Right now I'm on my way to get my hair cut and I have not gotten my hair cut for literally a year. Also, this is my new favorite lip balm. I've been using it so much lately, but it is the Summer Fridays. Um, it's their lip butter balm in the shade Vanilla Beige and they also have it in like a um, like clear color too but this one is so good I like how it has a little bit of a tint to it but I'm on my way to get my hair cut and I'm just gonna do a trim today I have been loving my longer hair but I just don't like how the front pieces aren't very even and I think it looks kind of weird when my hair is straight you can't really notice it when it's crimped or curled but when I have it down straight I feel like it's kind of obvious that it is uneven and I think I'm getting like a lot of split ends and stuff so I'm gonna go get my hair trimmed today this morning I filmed like a little montage for you guys but I did a leg workout and then I went to Starbucks with Brandon we got coffee and yeah it was a good morning but my appointment is at 12 so I'm on my way there now and then I have a couple other things that I want to do today. I'm also going to like a massage therapist that does like more of um, sports massages. I've been having some like, not like pain, but I'm like super sore in my shoulder over here and it's just been bothering me a lot. So I'm gonna go there today too at 4.30. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. Just a couple appointments. I'm gonna run a few errands. So I just wanted to kick off a new video and bring you along for my day today. But yeah, I'm gonna film my haircut, so you guys will get to come along for that too. I left this RX bar in the car and it is melting. I was gonna eat it before my appointment and I totally forgot. It's the peanut butter chocolate. I had the blueberry one yesterday and I actually love these bars. There's a decent amount of protein, 12 grams, but they just are a good snack to have. And so I'm trying to eat this before it gets like melted everywhere. But I just finished with my haircut and I love the way that it turned out. She like fixed my facial framing and trim the ends. I'll move you guys over here actually so you can see it a little bit better. But I just feel like it turned out so good. It's really fresh and healthy now and it just feels so nice. I'm also happy that she washed it because my hair really needed to be washed. And then I just had her leave it straight because whenever I cut my hair, I feel like I like it straight. I also like the way that I curl my hair better instead of other people i don't know that's probably just weird but i just like curling my own hair so i left it straight and it just looks so good so i'm very happy about that and i go to atelier salon here and i see shelby she is like my age and she's so cute and just like so sweet it's fun like chatting and catching up with her so i'll have her instagram linked in case you want to see her i think that she's just like so nice and i really like that she like will cut your hair exactly what you're wanting because before like i used to be so scared to cut my hair because i was just nervous that i was gonna say like only trim it and then they would cut all my hair off but she's just like so good about doing exactly um what you want so yeah i'll have that linked and then now i'm gonna go over to the bookstore there's a barnes and noble like right across the street here and i haven't been to the bookstore in forever but i finished reading the book you are a badass which i definitely recommend reading that but i want to get something new to read for the month of may probably like one or two books and i saw some recommendations from like other people on um instagram and so i think i'm just gonna go over and see what i can find 
and then yeah buy a couple of books but i'm gonna finish eating this bar before it like gets chocolate everywhere and then i'm gonna go to the bookstore i'm gonna run a couple other errands too so it's a good day i'm gonna show up be back soon I just got to Crate and Barrel and there is an espresso machine that I've been wanting so bad and I saw that it was on sale and so I came here to look at it and they have two in stock and so I think I'm gonna buy it. I feel like it's a sign that I can treat myself and get it so I'm looking at it right now but I'm just obsessed with their espresso machines and you guys already know how much I love my coffee so I think I'm gonna do it. right now I only have like 30 minutes to be here because I have another appointment at 4 30 so I just wanted to come home and eat something and bring the stuff that I got home and I cannot wait to show you what I got today but I just heated up a meal from factor that I got this one is the ginger soy chicken and I do want to thank factor for sponsoring the video today you guys already know I am obsessed with their meals I love how easy they are especially when I'm busy and I don't have a lot of time to make anything especially today i like that you can just throw them in the microwave you heat them up for two minutes and you get them delivered fresh so you don't have to worry about unthawing them or anything like that because they're never frozen and they have so many meals to choose from you guys like no matter who it is there is an option for everyone they have calorie smart chef's choice vegan and veggie and all the meals come with either plant-based seafood or meat options so there is just a lot to choose from and they do update their menu weekly so you can always find something good that you'll like and something new and there's like not a meal that I've tried from them that I didn't like so for me it's really great when I'm busy and when I don't have a lot of time to cook anything it saves on grocery trips and when I want like different meals because a lot of the times I make the same thing I also like it too just to kind of change up what I'm eating but I do have a code to give to you guys and I highly encourage you to try their meals if you haven't yet. You just want to go to go.factor75.com slash babyhey120 and then use the code babyhey120 to get $120 off. Again, it's go.factor75.com slash babyhey120 and then use the code babyhey120 to get $120 off. It is seriously so worth it. I haven't had the meal that they sent me today, but there's just like a piece of chicken and quinoa and then there's broccoli and I like that they have a lot of good protein in their meals because it's so important to like get your protein in every day and I feel like that's the one thing that I don't like to cook the most. Like look how bomb that is. I went to the bookstore and then I also stopped at Crate and Barrel but I'll show you guys what I got. There were so many books that I wanted at the bookstore. I was in there for kind of a while reading different ones and just figuring out which book I wanted to get. But I ended up buying this one right here, which is The 5 AM Club, and it's by Robin Sharma. He actually wrote the book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, and I really loved that book. So when I saw that it was by the same author, I figured I would probably like it. And it says that there was 15 million Million books sold worldwide so this is definitely a very popular book but it says own your morning elevate your life and the book is basically all about just like your morning routine and it says that it will walk you through um, how great geniuses business titans and the world's wisest people start their mornings to produce astonishing achievements a little known formula you can use instantly to wake up early feeling inspired focused and flooded with a fiery drive to get the most out of each day and 
Basically, it says it's a step-by-step -step method to protect the quietest hours of daybreak so you have time for exercise, self-renewal, and personal growth. But I have been really loving personal growth books and things should things that just help you on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I thought that this would be a really good book to read. But there was another book that I wanted to get to and I was looking on Amazon because I definitely recommend checking Amazon before you buy a book at a bookstore just because Amazon is usually cheaper. This one I didn't find and I thought it would be fine to buy at the bookstore but I was looking at the other one. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called, something with the monk. But basically, I looked on Amazon and it was 52% off there. You would save like $14. So I'm just going to order that book on Amazon and read this one for now. And then I went to Crate and Barrel. And you guys, I have really been wanting a certain Breville espresso machine for kind of a while now. And I just haven't treated myself to it. But I have been checking their website and I got an email from Crate and Barrel saying that it's $100 off. And I just I just felt like that was my sign that I should go get it, which maybe you shouldn't do that when things are on sale, but I just was like, you know what? I've been wanting this for so long. And so I did go buy the Breville espresso machine and I'll show you which one I got, but I am so grateful that I was able to get this. And I just want to thank all of you for supporting me because truly I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. And so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and commenting and being subscribed. And even if you're just like a silent viewer or whatever, I've said this before, but I truly appreciate all the support that I get from you guys. So thank you. Thank you I love you all and I am honestly so grateful that I was able to get this I know it is an expensive purchase But I thought it would be so fun to get just to like make new coffee I also thought it would be cool to film on camera and be able to make my coffee and show you guys it because I make my coffee on camera all the time and so I thought that maybe having a, front, a fun espresso machine would be cool for you guys to watch and so I'm really looking forward to having this but I did buy a couple of espresso cups and these ones I just got are um, like glass clear glasses. I got two of these and there's so many different ones you could choose from but they just had these ones in the store and I wanted to get something right away so I'll probably end up ordering more but they're just these little glasses and yeah now we're gonna open this which I'm like freaking out about the one I got is the Breville Barista Touch. So you can choose between espresso, Americano, latte, flat white, and cappuccino. And there is a built-in grinder. There's so many cool features. There's a thermal jet heating system. It says that it's ready to start in three seconds. An automatic microfoam texturing. And then it comes with a bunch of accessories. But I'm so excited to try it. I'm gonna leave and go to my appointment because I don't wanna be late. And then I'll open the rest of it when I get home but I just am so excited about it. Good morning, you guys. It is obviously the next day, and I am so sorry, but after my appointment yesterday, I was so tired. I got home at like six o'clock. I went to this place here called Project Wellbeing, and I highly recommend going there if you need to get like a massage. They also do personal training. They're building a Pilates studio there, and they're gonna have like saunas and ice baths, and it's a really cool place. They're not done building everything. He said that they're gonna be finished with most of it in like 45 days but they're gonna have like a membership and I just really liked the place but it was such good lighting in there and he was so nice but he massaged out like my whole arm like up through my bicep my back my neck and then he did like this ultrasound thing on me where it's supposed to help with just like all the tightness and he said that yesterday after the appointment and today I'd probably start feeling sore but by like this evening tonight or like late afternoon I'd start feeling better so I'm really glad that I went just because it had been bothering me and it's important to like take care of your health and stuff
I just finished getting the machine all set up. I ended up watching a YouTube video to help me because I was kind of confused. But I got the water filter in the back already and then I got the grinder locked into place. I actually don't have any coffee beans because I've never had to buy any. So I'm going to go to the store today and get some so I can actually try out the machine. I wish I would have yesterday but I just completely forgot. And then I got everything down here all set up. But it looks so pretty and I can't wait to use it. Right now it's 3.30 and I've been getting a bunch of editing done. I need to go to Target though so I'm going to run over there right now and just pick up the espresso beans and then a couple other things that I have on my list to get. But this is the outfit today. I didn't really feel like doing my makeup so I just put on some sunscreen and then this Nike baseball cap, plain white tee from Maritzia. These jeans are from Princess Polly and then my Air Forces. So we're gonna go over there and just grab those few items. I'm just leaving Target and I ended up buying two bags of coffee beans just because I don't really know how long the beans will last in the espresso machine and I just figured I could buy two different kinds. So I got that and then the other things I went for. There was one thing I wanted to get but I didn't really find a good one here so I'm probably gonna have to order it online. But yesterday when I was getting my massage, he was telling me that one of the reasons I'm probably having like soreness and tightness in my shoulder is because I'm constantly on the computer and like looking down and so when you don't have like good posture or your shoulders are rolled forward or whatever then you start to get like tightness and it gets like um, really sore and so I am trying to find like a stand to put my laptop on so that I can sit up a little bit higher so that when I am editing on that I'm not like looking down so much and I tried to find one here at Target but I couldn't really find anything good so I'm just gonna go on Amazon and order something but I needed to try to look for that and my shoulder is feeling like a bit better today I'm glad that I got it like massaged out and just like get some of the knots out and the tightness and whatever so I'm feeling a little bit better today. It was just like so sore and like bothering me So I haven't really worked out that much this week either just because I've been trying to Let myself have a break and I've done some leg workouts because that's fine to do But I'm gonna get back into like working out tomorrow So I just took a few days off of workouts, which is good to do and I just needed that So I did not work out today but I am going home and I am just going to edit some more. I have so much to edit and work on, which I feel like I say I do that all the time, but I really do. And I need to make some TikToks and stuff too. So I'm just going to head home and do that. But I'll show you the like couple things I got at Target, even though it's like not that exciting because I bought like four things. <laughs> I got the Starbucks Pike Place Medium Roast and then I got the Pete's Coffee Big Bang Medium Roast. And then I also got the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt in the Calm and Serenity one. It has rose essential oil and milk protein. Apparently it's just supposed to help with nourishing your skin. And then I got some dishwashing detergent in the Fresh Scent and some more avocado oil spray. I'm gonna pour the beans into this and I heard that the beans that I chose are really good recommendations. I'll obviously have to keep trying out different ones. But I'm just going to do the Pete's one first. I don't even know how much it takes. up one of my factor meals for dinner i'm honestly really hungry right now and the one i'm gonna do is the chorizo and purple potato bowl i just kind of want to have it on a plate because these containers are always so hot I can't remember if I said this or not, but this one is the chorizo and purple potato bowl. It's definitely not something that I would typically make myself, which is why it's fun to have meals like this, just to like eat new things. 
but I am just going to chill and watch something. I think I'm going to watch YouTube and just catch up on some vlogs, and then I'll probably watch Netflix later tonight. But I got my sweats on, and I am just relaxing. I am someone that, like, gets in the door and immediately puts sweatpants on. Like, I just, like, take my pants off and put on something comfortable because I cannot relax with, like, jeans on or any uncomfortable pants. But yeah, I am just going to chill and watch something. So that's basically all I have to say for the night. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to close it out here and new vlogs will be coming. So have my post notifications on so you get notified when I upload new videos. Make sure that you are subscribed and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!